Welcome back. For our seventh section in this React testing series, let's take a look at mocking. In this video, let's take a look at mocking functions with Jest. And in the subsequent videos, let's take a look at mocking HTTP requests. To help us get started, I have set up a new component behind the scenes. Let me walk you through the code. In the components folder, we have a new folder called counter2. Within the folder, we have the component file, counter2.tsx, the types file, and the test file. Let's start with the component file. The component is a counter, but this time it is props driven. Props is of type counter2props, which contains the count, handle increment and handle decrement functions. Both the functions are optional. In the component, we render a heading that says counter2, followed by the count, followed by two buttons, on click of which we call props.handle increment and props.handle decrement. The buttons are conditionally rendered based on the props being available. For this video, we don't have to worry about the parent component that passes in these props. Let's move on to the test file. You can see I have added the necessary imports and defined a basic test to ensure the component renders. In the terminal, we see the test passes as expected. Hopefully, the setup is clear to you. Now our goal is to write a test to ensure the click handlers are called on click of these two buttons. Within the describe block, add a new test. The name is handlers are called. And the second argument is a function where we begin by rendering the counter to component. On this component, let's pass in count prop set to zero. Next, we need to pass in the two handlers so that the component renders the two buttons. So handle increment and handle decrement. But now we have a question to ask ourselves. What do we pass into these two props? We don't really know what the parent component passes in. They might be functions which increment and decrement by one, or they might also be functions which increment and decrement by 100. And to be honest, we don't have to care about that. For us, from a counter to component point of view, all we have to ensure is that the passed in handlers are called when the buttons are clicked. And that is exactly what we are going to do with the help of mock functions from Jest. Let's understand how it works. Before render, I'm going to create two mock functions using Jest. Const increment handler is equal to Jest.function. And similarly, const decrement handler is equal to Jest.function. If you hover, you can see Jest.function creates a mock function. We can now pass in these functions as values to the two props. This will result in the two buttons, increment and decrement, being rendered, which we can now get by role. const increment button is equal to screen.getByRoll button with name increment. And similarly, decrement button is equal to screen.getByRoll button with the name decrement. Now that we have the buttons, we can click on both of them. For click interaction, we are going to use the user event library. At the top, import user from at testing library slash user event. And then within the test, 
call user.setup. After we have the two buttons, call user.click, passing in increment button and decrement button. Now remember, all user event APIs are async, so make sure to add async to the function and await the click calls. Once we have clicked the two buttons, we simply assert that the two mock functions have been called. For this, we use a new matcher. So expect increment handler, which is our mock function, dot to have been called times one. And similarly, expect the decrement handler to have been called one time. If we now save the file, the test passes. Change to have been called to two and our test fails. We have successfully mocked functions with jest. Mock functions allow you to test your code without having to worry about the actual implementation of a function. Let me quickly review what we've done in this video. We started by understanding the counter to component code setup I'd done prior to the video. The component accepts a count prop and two props, handle increment and handle decrement, which are called on click of increment and decrement buttons. To test the functionality, we relied on just mock functions. We created the two mock functions and passed them into the counter component. We then got hold of the two buttons and clicked them using the user event library. In our assertion, we expected the mock functions to have been called once. Hopefully, it all makes sense. The mocking adjust function can be more complex and is dependent on your requirement. I would suggest you have a look at just documentation for more details. If this is clear, join me in the next video where we will start to learn about mocking HTTP requests with a different library called Mock Service Worker. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.